Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we've got the XY Falcon from Zhang Yu. I think that's how you pronounce it, that's quite good actually. It's got some other name for it, it's going to be up in the description. It's got so many different names when you look around the internet for this thing. But I got this sent from geekbuying.com to review, so thanks very much for that. And I'll leave a link below if you do are interested in buying this. So, as you can see, it looks remarkably like another drone. So it does look like the Me Too drone from Xiaomi. Me too mini, um, but it just looks like it. That's where the similarity ends. So, the one I've been sent says 720p on the box. They do it in various stages. They do a 0.3 megapixel in red, a 0.3 megapixel in the gold, which is on the box here, and a 720p 2 megapixel version in red, which is this shiny red one, the same. This is not a 720p version, even though it's quite clear state from the box that it is. This is recording in 0.3 megapixel and 480p, which for a selfie drone, a so-called selfie drone, is nowhere near good enough. So, let's but I'll carry on with the review. So the drone itself has a removable battery on the top. Click that button in there and pull the battery out. So the battery has a connector there, which connects into. Let me just get that going to focus. So yeah, it's the connector there, connects into the drone here. And then it has a USB connector. Sorry, that's not in focus. I don't know why it's not focusing. Yeah, that's better. So it's got a USB there that it plugs into, and that's your connector for plugging it in. So inside has no SD card or no facility to record on board. So there's no way of connecting this up to your computer to get the image off. All the everything's recorded to your smartphone. It runs on the Wi-Fi UFO app which you've probably seen before, I'll show you the app quickly in a second but it records to that on the controller it has functions for video, camera, take off land lights headless mode, speed and 3D flips automatic shut off there of your motors and that's the take off land, that one's so easy to return to home so it comes back in the general direction it takes off on it's no GPS so it's not going to come back and land on the mat in front of you and this is your trim for this joystick okay so the joypad looks exactly the same as the one for the Yishi windmill and it's very similar to the parrot fly pad but not as well made the gimbal is nowhere near as nice as the parrot fly pad but it does its job and you can fly it quite nicely with this controller so the one thing I would say about the controller is do not fly this in speed mode 1 if you're outside because you'll be just fighting even in the mildest of breeze like I have today, There's only a couple of mile an hour wind today and I've been fighting it, you need to put it into flip speed mode up and put it in its highest rate and it's not bad at all. It comes with a phone holder which simply attaches to the back here and pushes in there and then your phone goes in there, it runes on two triple, four AAA batteries, two in each side you can see I haven't bothered screwing them on but you can see they go into the bottom here just haven't put the covers back on. So that's your controller. It comes with a set of prop guards that are very easy to fit. Prop guards are really nice actually, similar to the ones you get for the Xiaomi. So they just simply clip in place like that. There you go. So simple as that. And then to pull them off, you just twist and pull. So the prop guards are nice to be honest. I do like the prop guards. So, on the box for this, and all the instructions, it tells you that it's got optical flow, and the optical flow doesn't work when you hit over 8 metres. So you can see, it's an optical flow on there, just under the sticker that tells me I've got a 720p camera. This does not have optical flow. There is no optical flow on this, and what I can see, none of the models have optical flow. And on Geekbind's website, it doesn't actually mention optical flow. So, I have no idea what's going on with the manual, I don't know what's going on with it, which is wrong, but it certainly doesn't have optical flow. The manual's not right and neither is the box. It has here, obstacle avoidance on the film, that kind of works and kind of doesn't. I've tested it about four times, it worked once out of the four, but I wouldn't really class it as a feature of the drone to me, it's just a bit of a gimmick. The biggest issue for me with this particular drone is this thing only has a 480p camera which is completely useless for a selfie drone. You'll see the footage that's coming up at the end 
where I'm flying it outside. So I'm filming it with my GoPro and I've also got the footage coming from the app itself. It is not great, as you can imagine. So it runs on the white, it sort of runs on the Wi-Fi UFO app. So we'll just turn the drone on, single press button on the side, turn the controller on, up and down with your throttle to bind. And then you need to find where it says on here, it says Wi-Fi 720p. So it definitely hasn't got a 720p camera. I'm just suggesting this is what it says on the mall when you log on to it. And it runs on the Wi-Fi UFO. Click on play and there you go. We're in, so you can have a quick look. So you can see it's got a bit of lag, but it's not horrendous. But you can even see on there the picture quality isn't going to be fantastic. So it's not great. Now, if this thing did have a 720p camera and record 2 megabits per second, uh, two, sorry, 2 megabits on the camera, it might not be a bad drone. So on the top of here you've got your typical thing, start and stop video recording. Oh, I should have mentioned, if you press start and stop and video record on here, it will make the lights flash on the bottom of the drone to tell you it's recording, but it doesn't actually record anything. You have to hit the icons on the app. There you've got your gallery. So I'll show you in the gallery. So if we go into video, there you go, you're going to see a quick bit of the video that was recorded outside. You're going to see that in the app later on. It looks far better on my phone, trust me, than it does in the app. But it is seven. It is not 720p. And then, I don't know if I've taken any pictures. Did it take any pictures? No, I haven't taken any pictures. I've not saved them anyway. So that's where you can view. And then on here, let's go back into there. This is going to put it into gyro mode. You can turn, you can have all your dis controls on here so you can fly it with the phone. You've then got reverse, your function, everything reversed. You've got a um, headless mode and then you've got to put it into 3D mode if you want to wear 3D goggles or VR goggles. So that's, prob that's about the app. It's quite a straightforward app. Loads of things run on this. Um, so yeah, that's about the drone to be honest, I there's not really much more to say about it. The proof's going to be in the pudding when you see the video that's coming up. The fact it only records in 480, this one, now is that there be something wrong one or whatever's going on, I don't know. And also due to the fact that this hasn't got any way to record internally to it means you're going to skip frames and everything. It's only recording in 15 frames per second at 480 so you're never going to get a great camera. So I'll leave you with that. Have a fantastic day. Thanks ever so much for watching.